sadly enough, we have a problem in the United States of America right now. We are letting the Muslim Brotherhood tell the government how to think about Islam and Jihad. We are letting the church open their doors for Muslim organizations like Muslim Brotherhood to tell them how to deal with Islam. And this is the biggest problem that we are facing in the country right now. Associating these groups with the Muslim Brotherhood, I would like to know what is the evidence for it. I know both, I believe CARE more was kind of addressed in terms of some money for Hamas. Well, guess what? Before 9-11, and before our country had the war on terrorism, Hamas was not being addressed as a terrorist organization. Just adding one question, uh, you know, me. I know, oh, but, but, but I want to, I want to address. Addressing it to you. Like I am, I'm going to let you answer completely, okay? <laughs> but you mentioned that ISNA and CARE were not uh, recognized as terrorist organization before 9/11 and so forth. You know, Boko Haram as well was not recognized as um, a, a terrorist organization until they kidnapped the girls and now they are recognized as terrorist organization. The founding fathers of CARE and ESNA, you know, relationship with the, the Muslim Brotherhood is not something that I make myself. This is documented in the Holy Land Foundation, documented in the paper of ESNA. ESNA go back in their celebration of 50 years because Dr. Hathout and, 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 and Dr. Al-Qadi, who are Muslim Brotherhood, has been jailed in, in Egypt for involving Muslim Brotherhood, who are the founders of MSA and the founders of ESNA when they moved to the United States. So how come you come over here and tell people that ESNA and CARE has no relationship to the Muslim Brotherhood, while the founding fathers of this organization and the people who are active today on MSA and CARE and, 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 and all those organizations are members of the Muslim Brotherhood. Okay, Dr. Sharif, please. I'll be honest with you, I don't know why we're discussing ESNA. I don't know why we're discussing CARE. I don't know why. Our job is to change the Constitution of America. Our job is to change the Constitution of America.